Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand how to create library and reusable desktop blocks in Tosca. The major reason for creation of library or RTBs in Tosca is to enhance the reusability. Now there are different conditions in which it may occur, but basically the end goal is you are going to create a set of actions which you can e easily reuse and increase the efficiency of your project execution or uh, the test script creation. Okay. My name is Abhishek and uh, my channel name is IT Education. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Okay, let's get into this. Let, we'll first understand the scenario. So basically this is a mock application, okay, made for automation testing. So what happens is in this particular uh, application, whatever credentials you will put it is and click on sign in, it is going to work. Okay, so we are going to take this into account and uh, I'll click on scan and then I'll explain the scenario. So I'll go to modules and I'll click on scan application and I'll click on this. So basically what happens is whenever you have such kind of actions which are going to be common across the project. So let's say we are working on this particular application. So login is going to be a very common thing. Okay. And let's say whatever name, whatever uh, uh, credentials we are going to use are going to be same in that case also we can use and we can customize the input values as well. So I am going to just take a few of the fields. I'll take this username text box. I'll take a username uh, text box input and the header and your password and I'll take this enter your password as well and I'll click on sign in. Okay. These all are uniquely identifiable in case you're working with a different application and do not have an understanding on how to identify the elements. Do check out uh, my other video in which I have explained all the different type of identification methods. Okay, uh, I will just rename this to landing page. Okay, and I'll click on save. Okay. Now our module is created. Quickly we'll get to test case and here I'll create a folder. Okay, I can just write it as a library here. Library. And inside this I can create a test case and uh, I will just add this particular uh, module which we have right now created landing page uh, you can either drag and drop or uh, you can import it this way as well okay now a few things like let's say uh, my username is going to be exactly the same okay so I'll just write test here okay sorry this was the header so this is the edit box so I'll write test here and in the password I'll write test okay and let's say we want to perform certain other actions uh, let's say we want to verify that the username header is coming or not so maybe I can use uh, visible is equal to true okay and similar thing I can put in password as well okay so I will put this and here I'll select the action mode verify but since I've copied pasted visible it's by default detected that it is going to verify now sign in I want to click so I will put click here <coughs> okay so this is our normal test case which is created now let's say it is going to be reusable so what we'll do is we'll go to library we'll right click and here you will see this L option okay so I'll click on this create a test step library it what it is going to do it is going to just create a folder now what I can do is I can drag and drop this particular test step okay so I'll drag and drop into this and see the moment it is uh, it, it is displaying like this but the moment I drag and drop it into here it is going to turn into this arrow thing so what does it mean is whatever is there inside this is actually referencing to another uh, it is actually referencing to a library okay now if I go here uh, see all our all of my actions are mentioned here okay and in case let's say I want to delete this it is not going to matter at all okay and now I'll delete this as well and let's say I want to create a new test case I'll just write create in test case and now I can drag and drop this and use it wherever I want okay so I can create again one more okay test case and I can drag and drop this okay so let's say I want to say this as TC1 test case 1 and let's say I want to say this as test case 2 okay both are exactly performing the same thing but we'll quickly check it out so I will run this in scratchbook and uh, 
I have not mentioned browsers and all. I have kept this application open. So it is going to perform action on this page. I will click on run in Scratchbook. Now what it is going to do is it is going to validate that username and password is displayed as well as it is going to enter test test and then it is going to sign in. Okay, that is the set of actions which are going to be performed with this particular test step. So see our execution is passed. Now we'll quickly see uh, the results. Here if you'll see we have performed two places verification. So if I'll click on this true true and password true true. Okay, now whoever needs to use in the project uh, this particular uh, set of actions they can easily use this in any other test case. So they can just drag and drop in whichever test case they want and this is going to obviously help in a lot of more efficient uh, test case because the initial part is already created. Okay. Now uh, this is the normal one. Let me show you another one. Okay. So let's say we have a case in which the login page is going to be exactly like this, but we do not want to input the credentials here. Okay. And the credentials could differ. So let's say there are like four, five, ten, 10, and maybe in future you are going to get 40, 50 different kind of username, but you want the flexibility to input this when the, when the, uh, the tester wants to input it while execution like in, in different different scripts okay so how we'll do that is we'll go to our library and here we'll go to our reusable test step block and here you will get this option you will right click and you will get this option called p so this is called business parameter okay so what does business parameter do it actually gives us the ability to change the uh, data which is going to be used in test step blocks okay so i'll show you how this works so i do not want to enter test into this i do not want to enter password into this okay now it is going to display like that because it, we have selected data type as password so i'll just quickly change it to string and we can uh, rechange it as well if required so i want to pass two parameters what i'll do is i will right click here i'll again click on business par parameter i'll again click on parameter okay and whatever we can call it just for this i'll call it as un and i can call this as uh, pwd username and password okay now i am not going to input the credentials here okay what i am going to do i am going to create a relationship between business parameter and the actual test case so i can just drag and drop into this which is going to create a reference to the business parameter so the syntax is like this and let's say in case of password i will type it manually so i'll write pl and then whatever is my business parameter name that is going to be pwd and then i'll close this okay now we have set our parameter now how to run this uh, reusable test block now here if i want to run this it nothing is going to happen if i'm just going to run this because it is asking to pass these two parameters whatever it is okay so we have the flexibility to pass whatever data we want and whatever is inside this is hidden inside the library okay so we are not worried about that we know that if we are going to pass two different parameters it is going to log into the application and perform some necessary verifications so i'll let's say mention test one okay and similar password i can give here i'll just write test one okay now if I'll run this, you will see that uh, it is going to input test one, test one. Okay, uh, my bad. One second. Let me put this application back in focus. And let me close this and we'll try it again because our browser was not in focus. So I'll click on run in scratchbook. Now it is going to input test one, the username and test one in the password and going to perform the sign in operation. So what happened with this uh, uh, business parameter is it gives the control to the user on the values which they want to customize it. Okay, I'll quickly show it more uh, like I'll explain with more, one more example. So see our login happened with test one. Okay, now as I was mentioning that there could be n number of scenarios, right? n number of different username and password. Now this is test case one. In test case two. Uh, on whichever scenario you're working, let's say it is going to not work with test one, it is going to take test two. Okay, so if I have the since I have the ability, I can define it in here. Okay, but in the first case, what we have seen, if we are not going to define, then it is going to only take 
whatever is inside this okay so let me quickly run this and what is happening is whatever actions are inside the library those are also getting executed since it is a reusable test step block okay so let this get completed now this is these are the set of steps which you need to follow to create a library and whatever is created inside this is called as reusable test step block okay so let's get uh, back to tosca and obviously the same set of actions have been performed now here when the library is denoted with this but here you will see this particular option it is it this means this particular icon means it is a reusable test step block okay now this was via library creation i'll show another one uh will both are used in conjunction library and rtb but you can create it separately as well so let's say i create a folder here okay and inside this folder uh, i will create a test case okay and i'm going to import the same library okay so i'll search and add test and i'll use this landing page okay and here my test case is uh, the same but i want to try to create the rtb in a different approach so what i'll do is i will right click here and uh, not here uh, in the test step and i'll right click here here i'll be able to see this particular option and it says that create reusable test step block with the business parameter so if i'll click on this by default it is going to create a library okay and here if you will see in this it it is going to give this business parameter thing here okay now it is not going to by default add this so if i'll drag and drop into this then i'll be able to see my uh, steps as well here okay now again the same thing we need to do i need to click on this and i need to click on this and add a business parameter and then whatever parameter i have created i can input in the box wherever i would need now just one confirmation here so in case we have some other parameters like verify or something okay so if i pass this parameter then that is also going to work it's just that inside this what we are passing that needs to be applicable as to what kind of action you are performing so so it gives the flexibility let's say i can put in a text here visible so i can if i want to customize it i can put it in the business parameter so both are essentially doing the same thing but these are two different ways to create a library and this is particularly very very helpful wherever you have repeatable test cases okay now that concludes the video and uh, in case you like my content do like share and subscribe what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay out all the steps here and put in the description box uh, thank you very much have a great day bye bye